it's hard to even imagine you get pregnant and you're excited about having a baby and you have a child that has some specific developmental challenges. I've always wanted children my whole life and tried on and off for about 10 years and really believed that I couldn't have children and got pregnant with Isaac and it was like a miracle. At the time we lived in Japan, he was a little small when he was born, but uh, no real issues, uh, high APGAR scores and everything. At four months old, they realized Isaac wasn't meeting his milestones. Even before that, he, had, he struggled to gain weight. I knew something was going on and I just wanted them to figure out what was going on with him so that we could help him. He was actually diagnosed with tetrasomy 18P. Isaac has an extra 18th chromosome. Isaac would be delayed, would have intellectual, cognitive disability, global developmental delay. There are 300 people in the world with Isaac's diagnosis. I'm a single parent. I'd go through all of this on my own, and I didn't tell anybody. I didn't want to worry anybody, but maybe also, I didn't want to believe it. Around two, I decided to come back to the States because of his speech delay. Knowing we were coming back and Isaac could go to preschool, talked with another family that we know here in this area who has a child with special needs, and she recommended Childhood League Center. We had a call from a mom who was in Japan, living in Japan, and she was planning to get education for her child in the United States. So I knew about Tara before I met her. We went to visit and they met me at the door with a little notebook and said, so we know that Isaac has tetrasomy 18P. What does that mean? And where would you like to see him in five years? And I instantly knew this is exactly where I want him to be. When I first met Isaac, he had just turned three and he had just come from Japan. He was not talking. When I first started working with him, I was really looking at maybe he would always have to use something, you know, where he could push a button and it could say what he wanted it to say. And that's initially, I think, why he got the iPad. And now we don't even use it for communication because he's just a verbal communicator. Where are you going? Just last week, I walked into Isaac's classroom and my back was to him. And all of a sudden I hear, Hey, hey. So I turn around, there's Isaac looking at me, trying to engage with me. That was just amazing. And just to see the growth of this little guy is just fantastic. He can say his whole alphabet. He recognizes all of his capital letters. He can write his name. I've seen great strides with his fine motor coordination, with his physical abilities. He was riding a bike up and down the hall yesterday. I was so impressed. Every single day that he sees me, he looks at me and I walk in the room and he says, I come because he wants to come to the OT room or ride a bike or do something. He has scoliosis. He wears a brace 23 hours a day. We do take it off here while we're strengthening his trunk and core. He is funny. He has a great sense of humor. He is a huge highlight, sunshine in someone's day. He always greets you with a smile. Isaac is one of the most motivated and hardworking little boys I have ever met. He never gives up, ever. He's made some incredible gains and changes, uh, just like his mom expected, I think just like his teachers expected, just like his therapist expected. That is one of the really great parts about the Childhood League and our, our staff, families. It's a partnership. We work so intensely and intentionally with families. Our goal is to make sure that every parent becomes their child's best advocate so that when that child starts kindergarten and beyond, they have somebody in their corner constantly. I don't think you'd ever find a better advocate than Isaac's mom. She's phenomenal. Isaac is absolutely ready to go to kindergarten. He's ready to be a leader in a classroom. I don't want him to leave. I know I won't live forever, and that's hard. Who can help him when I'm not here? I want him to be able to help himself. That's where I want Isaac to be.
He's my whole life. He's my biggest dream come true.